Do you, not look at me. Do you you got special me. prizes, you said? Special prizes. It's not, well, it's a surprise. It's a surprise. Okay. It's a prize. I'm not going to give it to you right now. Well, we'll wait for it. Wait, you told me don't look. Well, I had it in my hands. I just, I literally just walked past it. And I grabbed it. Okay. And I didn't have time. I have a, I have a, I didn't even have my snack satchel today, so I don't have a purse to put everything in. You're not going to give it, okay, you're not going to give it to me now? I'm not going to give it to you now. It's not That's time. fine. That's it's fine. Uh, how you doing? How'd it go? Out. Feel good. I feel good. TV's done. Get great. fits done. TV's done. All... Look at this. Yeah, I got fit. Yeah, you got real cash. <laughs> I did Casual. some push-ups. You want to feel? Nothing. Okay. Yeah. 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 You look feels like you did some push-ups. Look at that pump. Yeah, good for you. I feel real good. And I got Mendonies. And, uh, and you're all set and ready to go. Ready to go. I cannot believe what just... I was on my way here. Yeah. And I generally go one route because we're creatures of habit. Dude, don't you dare tell me you saw a guy walk through a door again. Oh my no! With his brown that was shoes? a good. I forgot about that story. Oh, I'll, I've people never... have been asking me about. People have been asking you about that story, haven't they? Yeah. No, this is no brown shoes. No, no. But I thought to myself, wait a minute. There might be a thing in my car that I want to grab. Just a little itty bitty thing to for this. And I was like, ah, oh, Derek's in a rush. But I decided to turn around and go. You followed did. my gut. Oh. Follow your gut, friends. And on my way to the car to get my little tiny surprise, mm. I came across. Two other major discoveries. Wow. So, and that's what I have, and that's what I can't. Well, good for you. Whew, what a day, everybody. I'm happy for you. Wow. Got your donuts, you got your got cold coffee. Yep. Here we go. Uh, welcome, everybody, to the show we call The After Party. It is our podcast-style show where we, uh, I don't know, we just have a podcast. Yeah. I have people saying, like, you guys need to have, you guys need, the Weather Boys need a podcast. And we say, well, we do. In a way, have a podcast because yeah. we do we well, do but, this mm-hmm. where mm-hmm. we talk about everything that uh, happened for the story that we just did. Yep. Uh, extra videos, extra pictures, extra stories. Oh, so, yeah. Um, yeah, that's where uh, welcome to uh, where we uh, we're recapping the eclipse. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So that was a, this was a big this has been a big week for us. Huge week. This could be recaps for some time. This could also be a recap of the Tigers home opener. Oh yeah, we haven't re- yeah haven't done that yet. Dude, it has been crazy. It's been a lot. These live hits, a lot happening. Um, But this is one. This is one to recap. Where do you want to start? You want to start with Tigers, or you want to start with Eclipse? I don't have anything for Tigers. I just have Eclipse. No, I just want to live in that moment forever. I know. Still got road rash on my butt. You do. My right butt cheek. Top right butt cheek. A little bit of a bruise. If you don't know what Alan's talking about, on opening day Uh they sent us out to do some live shots. Well, they sent me out to do some live shots with crowds and tailgaters. And who shows up to surprise me? This guy right here. Yep. shows up in his rollerblades, a uh, suit, and a helmet. And there's there's this group, there's this tailgating group that they like launch with like a catapult. Mm-hmm. They launch beers in the sky. And trebuchet. It's a trebuchet, technically. And well, I just I wasn't sure if people know what a trebuchet was. Well, don't disrespect the trebuchet. Trebuchet. That's like somebody walking up to you and they're like, I don't know if you're Derek or Allen, so you, I'm just gonna I'm gonna pick one. Did you know that a trebuchet is more efficient and stronger than a catapult? For sure, nine thousand four hundred cubic. Square pounds per inch. Base pounds per inch, yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you know why it's more efficient and better than a catapult? Trajectory. Physics, Physics. yeah. It's yeah. the physics. It's because a catapult is just like this, and it goes, pink. Uh-huh. But a trebuchet has a sling, and it kind of wraps around, and it uses its own force. So it's better because it. it's better. It's better because it uses physics to transfer energy just from potential energy to kinetic energy. Does a catapult use biology? No, but a catapult is not physically is as efficient. Mm. So you're welcome <laughs> for that. I appreciate that. Anyways, uh, so I went out. I, ran, I caught one. Alan was in his he rollerblades. Caught, he caught first of all. Mine was pretty impressive. No, yours was very impressive. There's a there's a sweet woman, Marge, who was down there because it's there's throngs of people, and so you try to carve out space to do the trebuchet. Um, don't yawn. I That's wasn't. A, I, don't I wasn't. yawn. We want them to watch us, and you're yawning. Give me some fake enthusiasm. It's been a long week, and uh, and so this kind woman went to try to catch the beer as Derek's momentum is carrying him into the beer and he snatched that beer right out of her hands and you did a very good job of it and you were I, kind and I, I saw it out of the corner of my eye yeah. and I was like I think I'm going to have a collision and then I was also like this beer might hit this lady in the face could hit her in the face you could have knocked her over that would have not been a good look so I caught it and then Alan in his rollerblades shows up and uh, we, I said do you think you can do it with your rollerblades nobody's ever first off only like two people caught a beer the entire day, the guy said. Right. Your catch was marvelous enough. Yeah, he said that was the best catch of the day until it was. 20 seconds later. It was. When he goes out on his rollerblades and he's going, and as he's rolling, the beer can is coming. He has to lean yeah. back for it. He falls on his butt, 
and catches the beer. Can't we just like do the one of those things where we go stop and then insert it into this? Yeah, let's do it. Stop. stop. I would like get ready so then you're ready to be able to catch the beer and then get your glove right near it. So I'm the guy that maybe doesn't need the advice. Good luck, Derek. No, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. No, no. How, how's that MCL gonna hold up? He got it! And the crowd goes wild! Derek is just really good at this. Nice right. job, that was fantastic. Do you think you could do it with those skates on? No. Be careful. Try. Well, you've got a backpack, yeah. a suit, skates. Now you're good up here. And I've got the heart of a weather boy. We don't back down. One, let's go! catches I've ever seen. That was incredible. That was electric. The baseball game is going to be a letdown. Now, what could possibly happen on the field to top that? To do it on skates and to do it while you're going down? That was strong. The weather boys. Okay, so now they saw it. Yeah. Way better that way. Oh, my gosh. I think we should have done that right off the bat. Because we should do it. Because Matt Phillips, our guy, yeah. our third tripod, put yeah. together that. And it, he did a phenomenal job of Should it. we show it to him one more time? Yeah. Stop. I would like get ready so then you're ready to be able to catch the beer and then get your glove right near it. So I'm the guy that maybe doesn't need the advice. Good luck, Derek. No, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. No, no. How, how's that MCL going to hold up? He got it! And the crowd goes wild! Derek is just really good at this. Nice right. job. That was fantastic. Do you think you could do it with those skates on? No. Be careful. Try. Well, you've got a backpack, yeah. a suit, skates. Now you're good up here. And I've got the heart of a weather boy. We don't back down. One, let's go. catches I've ever seen. That was incredible. That was electric. The baseball game is going to be a letdown. Now, what could possibly happen on the field to top that? To do it on skates and to do it while you're going down? That was strong. The weather boys. Okay, so yeah, there we go. That was yeah. great. All right, so, so that kind of recaps opening day. So now, yeah. uh, Monday was the eclipse, uh, and Alan and I, uh, the weather boys, went down to Toledo oh into the path of totality oh. to do live news all day long, including... A almost two hour straight mm -hmm. live show during the moment of totality. Have you ever had a better time in Ohio? No. Have you ever had a better time in Toledo? No. Best time. Best time. Best time. And I lived in Ohio. It it was uh the setting could not have been better. No. Like when we pulled up in our cars, so we left it. We were very worried about a lot of things that day. Mm -hmm. Leading up to that day. We were very worried about traffic. Traffic. We were very worried about the weather. Yeah. And it started looking like we were good on the weather, and then we, but we were still worried about traffic, so we left very early in the morning. We left at uh, 8.45. 8.45. Got down there at 10? Yeah, it wasn't bad. Time. No, traffic was not bad. Whatever. Traffic was not rough. Uh, but when we pulled in, I, I looked around at the setting, and I was like, this is literally the best space we could be. It was a fantastic it was space. perfect. And do we, I want to back it up for a minute, because the drive down, there were, um, there were Eclipse groupies honking at us. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, this is good. This feels great. So this is uh, Matt Phillips on the drive down. What a guy. Uh, uh -oh. oh. Oh, yeah, shoot. Sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's edited that way on purpose. I forgot this was. This is multiple photos edited. To, anyways. Um, there we are. So I'm with Matt mm -hmm. shooting Matt and... Alan is in that other car. Oh, that's me in the car. Oh, yeah, you're so right. We, we took we took two cars. So I just I wanted to show like you know this was our drive down. Well, Everything was good. And I was in the other one for one of our live shots. Oh yeah. You didn't get a chance to see this. To see. Okay. I had a whole plan because we have a live shot. And we're in two different cars, and Derek's like, "All right, I'm gonna take the thing, and then I'm gonna we're gonna There's shoot a you in the window. on top of the car, and I could shoot Alan's car, and so he was gonna hold up hold okay. up signs, and we love love actually. Yes, we and do. And you know, there's that scene actually. where the guy shows up to his best I friend's know. wife. Yes. And so I did this for Derek. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's do it big. Make it big. All right. Weather yeah. boys, don't. I bet you can guess where this is going. Back. Down. Down. I love you, Derek. <laughs> So I had a whole thing. My handwriting well is not done. good. I was trying to write it all down. Well done. But then we get to the moment, and me and Brian, uh, my driver and photog, um, who's with me, and he's like, I 
don't think they're going to see that. It's going to be too strong. And it didn't work. And I didn't even try because I knew it wouldn't work. But thankfully, it saw the light of day. You got one. Um, you had one thing that, that made I, it. It just said, like, I hi, did. Derek. Hi, Derek. Hi, yeah. Derek. I love you. I love you. Something Tell like me. that. Um, so we're driving down. I'm trying to see, I'm trying to see if we got any other pictures. Oh, no. Here's what I want to do. So here is. This is from when we were. This is when we got there. Okay. Oh, man. I got to stop doing that. That is... Well, the color bars look nice. Well, the color bars, editor Aaron put the color bars in between photos because I, I I gave him a bunch of photos. I said, can you put these all in? He put them in a sequence and he put color bars. He did what he was supposed to do. Mm -hmm. But the viewer at home is going to think it was a mistake. It's not a mistake. It's supposed Seems to be like a mistake. There we are. We got there. People starting to show up. Here is, uh, so here here's the area. So like when we first, uh, when we first got there, there's like, can you hear? Right foot, two spots. Okay, so ah, so good. Um, there was a DJ. Yeah, Way there were a, like a sitting area. Uh -huh. There's like an entire craft area with yep. experiments for kids. Like, I mean, there were six individual crafts with yeah. real legitimate like products that you could make. Let's go. Yeah. Work. So also, oh, the, uh, a bubble. Look at this. Look at this. I did this with my phone. Oh my God. Wasn't that cool? And then the bubble. So here's the whole craft area. So like, there's like they're doing bubble stuff. They're doing rocket stuff. Yeah. They had a whole um, merchandise area. Did you get a chance to go over here and take a look at this? Not the merchandise. Look at this. No. Toledo Eclipse. Uh, the tagline is uh, like you want the like, in the dark or oh that's like, yeah it was that's something great. like oh no don't get left. Not in the dark. That's what it was. Okay. Don't get left not in the dark. A little wordy. But you get it? Like, I get it. Don't get left in the dark. Right. Don't get left not, not in the in dark. dark. Right, right, you right, want right. to be in the dark. You want to be in the dark. Do you okay. understand? Is it, I, I get this it. This totality is dark. I get, you ever see the wonders? So the moon goes over see? the sun. I, okay. I understand. You get it? It's yeah. just one. Yeah. I, I get it. I don't know about it, though. Is this where we talk about our merch or no? Should we save that for later? Uh No. Uh No, let's do it now. Well, our merch should have been in there. It. Our merch should have been in there. So our merch, hold on. Let me go back to try to show. Um, Okay, I'm just going to guess. Wait. There we go. Okay. These shirts, Christina Larson, oh. director extraordinaire, crafty, crafty gal. Um, Christina Happy Hookers. Larson. Happy Hookers is the name of her company. Say what? Yeah, because they, they hook in um, crochet. They knit, yeah, crochet. Knitting. They have hooks. Yeah, get your mind out of the gutter, I don't, guys. I don't know what you're thinking. Happy yeah. Hookers. They're happy crochet. as they work. And um, she does all kinds of crafty stuff. She's, yeah. at, uh, she's at that Renaissance Festival always selling stuff. Mm. She makes our weather most of our weather boy stuff for She's us. So nice to us, and we love her. We got these that morning, and boy, I'll tell you what, I knew they were really great shirts. Yeah, you can see. Uh, should I show this one here? Let me show this one. Yeah, so show that. Can yeah. See this. So, um, yeah. So like, so those right there, those weather boys, sunshine. But the people, you dear sweet people. I mean, I've never been. I've never had such a hot commodity. In my life, people were coming up to us asking where they can buy the shirts. Where they can buy the shirts? When we explained to them that these are not official Eclipse shirts, they said, "Well, can we buy yours off of you?" And then when we said no, they tried to rip it off. Yeah, and I said, oh, "Got a cool. got a great video of that." Uh, just you got yeah, you got to listen to this. This is just listen. My microphone was off. Oh. There's nothing to listen. Wait, they can't even hear it. I thought they were hearing it. No, they can't hear it. My, this is I'm a I'm an idiot. I can explain what's happening here. <laughs> wait, 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 wait a <laughs> so let me explain it. So she walks up and she says, "Can I can I buy? Can, where do I get your shirt?" And Alan says, "This shirt." And she says, "Yeah, I want to buy it off you." And he says, "How much?" And she says, "I'll give you two hundred dollars for your shirt." Two hundred dollars. And you know she has money because she's a college student, and they have loans. They have tons free, of free loan, money. loan money. Just thousands, tens of thousands of dollars of loan money. Just to buy shirts with. Um, they were, yeah, it, it we was. Sell, we wouldn't sell it, though. Those shirts are special. Yeah, we got to keep them. We should have made more. But just, uh, the, the story is, uh, people wanted to buy the shirts off of our back what? to the tune of $200. And then you guys got home, you and Brian got home, mm -hmm. and somebody at the parking lot asked you. Three people at the gas station. Asked if they could buy this shirt they off of you. Yeah. Uh, everything culminated, by the way, in the moment of I, totality. Our and shot so, is now what viewers oh, right. are I'm just gonna, on their I'm just gonna let this screens, moment play. TV screens, I just, I still those want to orange talk colors about that it, you see are due to the hydrogen. Um, while, while you're, while we're 
doing the dumb conversation we have. Uh, watch us in the video because it is amazing. This is what I keep showing people. This is amazing how dark it gets when it's full totality. It's straight up nighttime for two minutes, one minute, 56 seconds. And then the light comes back, and I just think it's incredible. It is, it is astounding. And even when I was there, I didn't understand. Yeah. Until I saw. I mean, I understood, but then when you watch it, you're like, oh wow, it was dark. Well, there was, yeah, there were weird things. It, it, this is what I keep trying to explain to people that. And I'm like, this is. You understand, like we understand the science behind what is happening sure. during the eclipse, mm -hmm. but the crazy part about it is, even though you understand it, it still confuses you to the tune of. At one point, you said to me. It's just disappointing that all these clouds are rolling in. Right. And I said, what clouds are you talking about? Right. And you said, well, it's getting, like, you, you can tell For the sure. clouds are coming because it's getting darker. And I said, Alan, it's getting darker because the sun is being covered up by the moon. And I, and I, and it was like, what? what no, what? that's not, it's not that dramatic. Yeah. Yes, it is. But the same thing happened to me. If you look at, if you look at this, uh, the eclipse right here, those red, um, they're red not, dots? yeah, the red on the sides of it. They're not technically flares. I think they're plasma ejections. Yeah. But I looked at that and I said, "What's that red dot?" And you said, "You know what that red dot is? Like we you, we've done re we've been researching this for weeks. That is a that, that is essentially like a solar flare, right? But a, a CME. But I was like, oh my god, yeah, of course that's what it is. I know that, but you your brain tricks you when you're doing well, it. Well, and also it's all real time because I think the first time we talked about, it, I was like, no, I think that's a Bailey's bead. We're like, no, it's not. You can't see the Bailey's beads. I mean." Once they're done, right. that's when you take the glasses off. So Correct. that's not what that is. No, so it was just, it, it was a it's wild... It's happening in real time. See, look how dark it gets. Yeah, it's so wild, you understand. At one point, you looked up and you said, there's a bat flying around. Something flew. I, I don't know it was what it was. There was a thing, there was a bat-like creature. Carl said, Carl said there was going to be bats flying yeah. around. Then there was a bat. And then, then, and then you bat. said, I saw it. Look, how, I mean, it's, it's crazy. Matt, and, and kudos to Matt, because as a photographer, you are taught to adjust for light. And so he right. probably so badly wanted to adjust for light. Oh, but, sure. But right, it right, not right. being light was, that was a it. huge part of it. Yeah. So in order to like to see this evolution of it being light and then transitioning down to dark and then coming back, it's just so crazy. And it just like you just you don't ever look at the sun because we don't look at the sun. A, we don't realize how small it is in the sky, yeah, not right. in real life. You know what I mean? Because uh -huh. it envelops such a large part of the sky. And then you, it just reminds you that like we are at the we are at the mercy, the whim and mercy of this, this thing. It's what it, it's wild. Yeah, you're we right. We would be nothing without it. I mean, I literally. I mean, I know that we'd be dead. We'd be literally dead. But you don't think about. I don't have those thoughts daily. The thing that blew me away is the fact that you could see those things, those red bands coming off, coming off of the sun. You mean like the flares? Yeah, or, the, the, the yeah, flares. Like, like we're looking at right now. Ninety-three million miles away. Yeah, that's ninety-three. Million miles you away. To swear. I did. You no, wanted I did. That's okay if you did. That's okay. Ninety-three million miles away, million and miles we can away. see it. We can see it during this brief one minute and fifty-six second window, for maybe once in our lifetime. And why are we in the Goldilocks zone? Where those that that's comfortable. We're good with this. This is this is life giving to us. Yeah. Other planets, when it's a difference of several thousand miles, which in the grand scheme of the galaxy is not it's much. nothing. But that thousand miles is the difference of life and death. Life and death. So we're, we're just, it's like. And that's what this event does. It takes this this ah! abstract stuff and it brings it down into, into you. It's right in there. Ah! I can feel it. Man, what an incredible moment right here. So two different cameras right there. We had two different photographers shooting it. Brian Paninsky and Doug Tracy. They're in different locations, which is why one of them, there's already sunlight coming back. Right. And the other one is still Nika. in totality. Wapa Kaneda. Naba Kaneda. How can you not get Wapa Wampa Kaneda? Nina, which is the birthplace of Neil Armstrong. Which is also pretty dang impressive that, like, what a cool spot to watch it. For sure. Like, a, one of the guys that, has been, that set foot on the thing that's blocking out the sun. Right. That's where the, his that's hometown, where he that's his where hometown. he was. Nakamanu. And Wampa I give it, I give them a lot of credit. Um, the you give them a lot of Wapa, Wapa, Wapa Kaneda credit? Because, Wapa Kaneda credit. Because, like, you know, you gotta, you don't want to take yourself out of the moment. But yeah. you have to, and then you got to kind of go back and forth, and, and there it is. Whew. And it's over, just like that. It was over. We both had a moment individually where we had the glasses off when we should have had them on. Because I, yes. I heard you, I heard you yelp, and yes. I know I did it. I had done it earlier. Well, because also because you're, earlier, and you're oh. so in awe, and you're like, and then you're like, oh, go, go, oh. right? And you, can I take them off here now? Yeah. Oh my god, take it back. What do we got? But we're not blinded. You can you can already see the light is coming back. I mean it's already getting Oh right in our shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's already getting brighter. And just that tiny little sliver. And that's why that's why 99% here in Detroit was so different. So different. So different. Just that little itty 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 bit. 
My regret is that I didn't push people harder to go to totality. Agree. Because I, I feel like I tried, but I didn't push hard enough. Like I wish, like my wife, for example, uh, I told her, I told her, I said, you should go. And she goes, I'm going to go. Well, she's got she's got a trip coming up. Yeah. She's got a lot of work she's got to do. She's like, Derek, you keep saying the traffic's gonna be bad. Which, by the way, we're gonna talk about traffic in just a second. Yeah. Um. So she's like, I'm not gonna take the kids out of school. It's gonna be fine. I'm gonna stay here. And I was like, Okay. Yeah. That's my regret. At that moment, 100%. I should have said, No, you need to be there. I agree. D who okay. cares about traffic? Who cares about anything? You need to be there. Um, and I didn't do that, and I do regret that choice. I had the same thought, same exact thought yesterday. Yep, me right. too. Because even the four-hour drive, home, even knowing that it would have been a four-hour drive home with kids in the car, which would be hell on earth. Oh my God, it would have been so bad. Still worth it. I still, yeah, I still would sit in that. Now I wouldn't be happy during those four hours. Yes. But it would be worth it. Well, and here's why it's a bummer too, because there were people that traveled from pretty far distances. Yeah. And one of our goals for the day was to try to find the person who traveled the farthest. And, and Alan was like, "You're never gonna find. You know, like it's gonna be. Well, you were like, you know, what, are you gonna, what, are you, what are you gonna do? You're gonna go walk around and just shout where'd you come from?'" And I was like, "That's exactly what I'm gonna do." That's what he's gonna do? So I walked into the crowd and just started shouting, "Hey, where'd you come from? Hey, where'd you come from?" And we stumbled across. No, 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 no. Didn't wasn't it the first person you talked to? The second person. The second. That's incredible. First person. First person was like, "I'm from Toledo," and I was like, "Get out of here." <laughs> Get out of here. The second person was like, "I'm from pretty far away." And so we met her, and we would like to introduce you to her. How, how far away she oh came for this. I was walking around, and I was like, I was like, hey, where are you from? Hey, where? I just want to see, like, who's, where's the farthest yes. somebody came from? Zarella, explain where you came from today. I'm from Fort Myers, Florida. She came from Fort Myers, Florida to see the, so when did you fly out? When was your flight? Yesterday. You flew out yesterday. From and Fort I'm flying back tonight. Tonight? Yeah. That is fantastic. Why did you choose Toledo? Because, well, I live in Fort Myers, that's a small airport, and, uh, you know, everybody's trying to fly, all the, all the tickets are very expensive, so I started looking what is closer, and the closest airport that wasn't super crazy on prices was Detroit, and I figured it was only, a, you know, like an hour drive, so I rented a car, and here we are. So Florida, what a woman. Florida to here. What a woman to go on her own with a small child. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's, that's mom of the year. Here's my concern with her. She had to leave Toledo to get back to Detroit to sure. fly out that night. Yes. I'm worried she didn't make the flight. I, that wouldn't shock me. We don't know what time she was going. It took so long. It took a lot of time. To get out of Toledo. So here is, so, okay. So, uh, totality ended 3.15. The total, uh, the eclipse was over, over by 4.30. Yes. Most people left at like 3.30, 4 o'clock. Yes. We had to be live at 5, and we had to be live at 6, and um, we took off around, around 6. To, to we left at six together in separate vehicles. Yes, and like the the total crowd by that point was uh, go, like gone. Like everybody had oh, left. Oh, for sure. We so were some of the last. In my mind, I was like, we get we've given a, a few hours two, lead time. Two hours for people to thin. Surely it's going to disperse. So we're leaving in the car. Uh, it's me and Matt Phillips in one car, and, and here's the guys, by the way. Yep. Okay. Show, so here show the you got to Okay. So wonderful picture, by the way. Yeah. I'm, I'm sad that you weren't in it. I know. So. Alan, just having a great time. I just had a just great, a great day. day. What a day. day of beauty. So the guy hold with the sunglasses on is Brian. Yep. You drove with him. Yep. The guy, um, the other guy's Matt Phillips. I drove with him. Yep. With where the, where the boys' headband. So we leave same time. You guys are in front. We're behind. Oh yeah. And we are. It's caravan. We're Facetiming each other. Yep. Because <laughs> we had spent we had spent twelve hours together, but this wasn't quite enough time. I, Together, we needed more. Everybody I tell that story to, I just drop the FaceTime in as a little minor detail, and uh -huh. it stops the conversation. What are you talking about? You fit, what, what does that mean? Yeah, we FaceTimed the, almost the entire way home. Right. To make the to make the total time together that day close to 14 and a half hours. <laughs> just needed more of it. Need, yeah. So we're FaceTiming. They're in front. We're behind. We get to a spot. My GPS says turn. Brian's GPS says go straight. Yes. So we split off, and they're and we're like, where are you? They were like, they said, where are you guys going? I said, my GPS says go this way, and uh, I said, what time does it have you guys getting home? And you guys said like uh, eight fifteen, and I told Matt, I said, ours says eight oh seven. It did, it did. You're absolutely eight, right. Eight oh seven. We you were, guys took we're the lead. Win. It's not a game, but you did take the lead. So we took the back roads of Monroe County to connect to seventy five. Yeah. They went west to US twenty three. Twenty three. Yep. Exactly. So we're FaceTiming, we're driving, all of a sudden, my map time jumps, which I expected, because I expected traffic, but Absolutely. I also expected yours to jump too. Yeah. But that did not happen. Didn't jump. We were steady, 
we're just there, you know. You guys are just Honorable, moving. Honorable, steady, being where we're supposed to be when we're supposed to be there. Our time kept going in the wrong direction. So then I was like, well, now our time says 8.30. What does your time say? And he's like, still says 8.20. Yeah. I was like, well, now our time says 8.45. What does your time say? Still says 8.20. 8.20. We, our time kept jumping, kept jumping to like almost comedic standards. Take a look at, I took this picture. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to Michigan. That sign says, welcome to Michigan. <laughs> I took this photo they were almost back at the station. We had just gotten into Michigan. Keep in mind, Toledo is like five miles outside of Michigan. I could not believe that you. I thought you were. I thought you were messing with us. I thought that you actually were beating us, and you were doing this long game where you're like, "We're gonna make a joke about how we're losing, and then we're gonna be at the station when they get there." No, it was so comical. I couldn't possibly believe it. it took us three hours to go 15 miles That's to go from Toledo to Monroe. Amazing. And now, now keep in mind, we're stuck. We're in the back road cornfields of Monroe County. Yeah, you are. And we're everywhere we look. Yep. Our brake lights, every everywhere. dang road is just covered in cars. Yep. And the, and I, the only solace was, oh, we're all in this together. Until sure. I learned, we're not actually in this not together, in together. Because you guys were already home. Cruising. You guys got home at like 8.20. Well, things devolved before then. You know, like, car rides can be frustrating. This car ride was boisterous, fantastic. But slowly but surely, over the course of the car ride, you know, hour, hour and a half in, this sweet man right here, look at that sweet little face. Started to get a little, started to get a little sour, and I could tell because it was quiet. I was <laughs> cranky. Well, because I okay, so for a few I reasons, I understand why. I, you have no need to apologize for it. It was a crummy. Can I swear? No, it was a I crummy think, situation. I think it was you a need to apologize. Situation. I think you need to apologize for it because that this right here is what he kept doing the entire FaceTime. So. It's all, it's all fun and good. Oh, we're off by five minutes. Oh, you guys took the lead. Uh -huh. When it became clear that we weren't going to get home until three hours after these guys got home, it's not funny anymore. And he's giggling the whole time. And, and, and I'm like, I, I sent them this picture. I said, we're, we just got into Michigan. And all I hear, all I see, because we're FaceTiming them, is this dumb idiot laughing at me, giggling. <laughs> Oh yeah, we. Oh, he goes. We we just got to Michigan too, and I'm like, where where are you actually? And he's like, oh, we just we just got across the state line. I'm like, where actually are you? And he's like, we're we're pulling into the station. And I'm like, you're you're home. You're gonna go to bed. We're still two hours away, stuck in bumper to bumper traffic. I have to pee. I can't go anywhere. It's not like I can get out of the car and pee in a in a cornfield. That's not cool. You could have. Where, where, oh, it, I was, I, 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 I wasn't even laughing at you. Uh, I was with Brian, I was with Uncle Brian, and he kept saying, he was a, he's a very funny man, and so we were giggling the whole uh, time. Um, the, but the best part about it, I was laughing at you at this part. When what? We, when we got there, we had to get gas, and we got to a gas station in Southfield, and we got, it was the funny, because like, 815, this, and these guys are getting real, row, real yeah. upset, and I'm still facing with in Derek, and we get out of the gas station, and you lovely viewers, there were three different people. We're like, the weather boys! Like, I lavishing would, us with praise. Would have loved it. So, I would have loved it. And I'm FaceTiming Derek, and you know what he had to do? Because the guy, of course, the guy was like, uh, where's your other guy? And I go, he's right here! And yeah. so I put this him on Final FaceTime. So, but no, Derek has to put on a face. Yeah. You gotta, oh, oh, hey! Oh, what are you doing? Hey, oh, that's just great. All of a sudden, oh, like, oh, good to see you. Where are you guys? We're not, we're, in, we're still in Ohio. Still stuck in Ohio. Oh, how, what's going to, oh, we're going to be home in two hours. I'm tired. I've been doing this all day long. I've been on TV now for ten and a half straight hours. I just want to get home. Oh. And he's home giggly. <laughs> he's like, yeah. And then, and then we lost him. I was like, all right. No, I hung up. I know. I hung up. I was like, this is it. I can't do giggly Allen anymore. I'm done with it. I'm hanging up. I, I love him. I'll apologize later when I'm not hungry, cranky, no, you and have to pee. Apologize, Remy. I was shocked you didn't hang up earlier. I hung you up the phone on him, and then Matt and, and Matt was uh, so kind. Matt because, was in such a good mood the whole time. Well, and here's why. Here's why I was so angry. It was my fault. It was, I'm the one that said turn here. It's not your fault. And Matt was like, turn here. Fault. I go, yeah, turn here. And then I was the one directing. And then there was like two other moves where I was like, we could go straight or we could turn. I was like, turn. <laughs> and like every move was wrong. So I was mad. You because don't know that. I do know that. <laughs> I feel it in here. But like, 
I, it feels like I was the one that made the wrong choice, and Matt suffered because of me. And all we all wanted to do was get home, and I just that's why I was so upset. I'm I mad at myself. I can understand all that, but you know what the deep irony was? Nobody suffered but you. Matt had a fantastic time. Matt, there was joy in Matt's voice the whole time. Yeah, that's true. And I apologize. I was just, I think I was just tired and cranky. Of course you were. It was a long day, but I'm still happy it happened. It yeah. was still fantastic. It was, well, it was definitely a, fun st- a funny story. Four hours and five minutes for us to get home. Did, they got home in two hours, two and a half. It took us an extra hour and 40 minutes to get home. Did you see that guy golfing on 75? No. There's a guy who pulled out his golf golf club. Oh, because he was stuck. Golf. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's funny. Um, all right, last thing I want to show you is, uh, this was unexpected for me, but when we were down there, the viewers of Metro Detroit were so yes. dang cool. Great. And they kept coming up to us, first off being like, love your shirts, how do I get one? Yeah. Second off, Telling us things like this, what this sweet lady said. You got to take a look at this lady. Do we have volume to this one? Yeah, we do. That's good. And why are you... Start over. Start over. Wait, where Wait, where are you from? We are, we're from Waltham. So we're, I'm from Berkeley. She's from Canada. And why are you here? We are here because you guys. Oh, <laughs> <from Berkeley. laughs> we are here because of you guys, she and said. Do you know what's funny? I um, You posted that on Instagram. And I uh, shared it, and um, Mark said, "Ha ha! I graduated high school with her. How cool! Oh, that's <laughs> cool. It's just so we're it, all connected. It's, you never know. Like, I mean, we we do all these things that we do because we enjoy them, and we yes. think there's some value in them. Yes. Um, it's really nice when it resonates with people. It, it, yeah. And then yeah. you take time out of your day to like come, not only do the thing that we encourage you to do to say, oh, right. you got to go see it, but also then to come up to us and tell us." The reason I'm here is because of you. Like that, it just it warmed my heart, and it wasn't the only one. And I'm just so grateful for her for sure. and for people like her. For sure, it's astounding to me sometimes when people are like, eh, "I don't want to bother you. Can I have a picture?" I'm like, shut up! Can you just get out of here? Good. That's a good no. Yes, please. Unless you're st- I'm stuck in four and a half four hours of traffic. <laughs> yeah, then run. in which case. Ah, <laughs> oh. uh, all right. Well, what a day. Do what we have a time, time for my my surprise? Oh yeah. Uh, the, oh yeah. Yeah. My yeah. surprise. Yeah, and we, we didn't even talk about the Disney World thing. Do we skip that? Uh, show, I guess well, we can show. Well, my surprise is real quick. Okay, I can show, and I can try to pull it up real yeah, quick while you're here. I don't you guys are gonna care too much. But while we were there, there are many crafts. Yeah. And look what I came across. Uh, we have a table here in the hallway of like throwaway stuff or free stuff. Usually goes in the trash. And I was walking in here. Yeah. And <gasps> I found these. Oh! I forget which one was mine. Yours was the white one. I don't. Oh yeah, because this is crooked for sure. Mine was crooked. Yeah, but also. No, 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 no. Yours won. Yeah, yeah, mine uh, won. Mine so won. So that's yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, that's so these correct. So we made these rockets and we launched them. And, and yours went higher. Carl Carl pronounced you the winner. Yes. Uh, real quick, this is a, actually a great thing to end on. Um, you might not be able to hear it. We'll try to talk you through it. But I'll crank the volume and see if it works, okay? So stick with me. We're going to see if this works here. Um, real quick, here we go. In Egypt, yeah. And Seven minutes and 28 seconds. Yeah, that's, I believe, in the 2020s. So, wow. do you want to make a trip? Do you want to make a trip? Yeah, let's go. And the one in 2045, I believe, yes. is going to go right over the most, what is it, the most magical place on Earth? Disney, Disney World? Disney World. No way. Yeah. Yes. The happiest place on Earth, what, what they call it. in 2045. Yeah, get happiest it now. Place on Earth. Whatever it is. So, there it is. Uh... 2020 or 2045. Yes. The eclipse goes over Disney World. We got back from this, and our boss said, "We're sending you to Disney World in 2045." She committed to it. Absolutely. We're, so she's. We got to go now. Now it's I, twenty some years away. I want to make sure that we have that 2045 correct. It is correct. It is correct. We're positive of that. Okay. Yeah, great. It's correct. Okay. Because I knew it was around there. I know it's around there. It okay. Is. There's, right. there's, there's two. So everyone. So there's a miscommunication with. There is one over the United States in 2044, but that's only over like Montana. Right. And then the one in 2045 is the one that cuts through m- most. And of there's us also through. one before that in the U.S. too. Mm. But that's Alaska. Yeah. So yeah, this is 2045. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah. So if you missed the Weather Boys doing totality. Just got to wait a, a short 21 years, and we'll do it again in Disney World. Yeah, I can't wait. I, I can't it's going to be fantastic. And I want to go to Egypt in the 20s. Mm. Seven-minute totality. I don't want to be done with this. And uh, in those cases, uh, it's going to be Alan that gets stuck in two hours of extra traffic. I'm okay I mean. with that. <laughs> That's fine. All right, everybody. We got to go. Uh, thanks yes. for watching. We'll see you on the next adventure.